Good morning, my beautiful friends. Let's talk about custom objects. It is more than uh, something a dream or a figment of our imagination. It has actually happened. I'm going to demo it for you right now. A couple of quick disclaimers, like all demos. First of all, this is Patrick Allman from Stop Doing Nothing Media at StopDoingNothing.com. I guess I should start with who I am because you may have never seen me before. And I was just so excited about this topic that... Um, that uh, I just wanted to, to, to get the thing going. Matter of fact, let's even turn on some lights here to uh, so you can actually see my face if you're watching me on camera. Okay, this is gonna be a demo of the very, very first iteration of custom objects. This is a company approved demo. I, I did get permission to do this. Remember this, okay? Well, this is like a beta beta. Like this may be even an alpha, I don't know. But number one, not everybody will have it, okay? Just the people that opted in um, will will have the feature. Number two, they uh, asked for a sub account ID, so I had to get it put on a specific sub account, uh, and I used a demo slash training account for a feature this new and this big. If you're ever going to get access to it and play with it, please make sure you use a demo slash training account. What's a demo slash training account? If you're a high level agency, you should have an account you just use for sandboxes for demos, some place where you can go and it has a bunch of fake data, and you can test out stuff and break stuff all you want. Custom Objects has not broken anything, but it's a, a significant change, in my opinion, to the product. So um, that's just the safest place to do it. And also, I'm going to be making some commentary as I go through here. The commentary is no way um, uh, uh, commentary on the, the how good the developers are. Again, it's a brand new beta. It may not even been in my account yet for 8 hours, 12 hours, 4 hours. I don't know. But I check every single morning, and so here we go. Okay, um, so you know we're in a typical uh, high-level sub account here. Uh, let's ignore those things on the left-hand side. Every morning I go into settings, and I just happen to check to see if custom objects is available. And today it was down here on the lower left-hand side, very much a beta item, custom objects. And as you can see here, I've created two custom objects. My big use case for this is event and ticket management. And uh, right now, um, that's the first thing I'm going to set up here. So, you know, it's it's a it's, so far the interface is again is very basic. The one thing you cannot do is cross relate um, objects yet, either uh, custom objects or company objects. Meaning, I cannot create an event ticket to connect to a contact. So I have a background database design. And if you're going to have something like events, you actually need an intermediary product or what's called a join product, which is event tickets, which will join contacts and events, right? So you, because your event is just date, time, location, information about the venue. Event tickets, because a, a attendee can have more than one event ticket, event ticket connects all of the events and all of the contacts. And that way you can have multiple events, you can have different event ticket types, somebody can buy one ticket, somebody can buy 20 tickets, it just doesn't matter. So this is how I would define an event system right here. But real quick, let's go through the process of creating brand new custom objects. Let's see, um, let's say you're gonna be someone who has a coaching business, right? In every week you meet with a coaching client, this is actually another use case I'm probably gonna build. Every week you meet with a coaching client and you need to give them some kind of review, okay? So let's create a coaching client review. Custom object, custom, all the stuff is very similar to what I've seen in the past decades when it comes to building custom objects and other tools and to basically just general database design. Custom object is going to be uh, client rating, right? Singular, client rating, custom objects, plural, client ratings, okay? If you look, look, look on this little object right here, it's just going to show you basically what the field name is internally, or really what the object name slash database name is internally. Primarily the field display name, uh, we will say client rating title. So, so far right here, all you get to pick as far as um, field types is a single line of text. Those of you with a strict database background design um, or you like something that you're someone who needs unique keys, you know, eventually if we're lucky, that might be uh, like a numeric field automatically increments, something like that. I don't know. But either way right now, it's just a single line of text. And again, this little icon right here lets you see the actual table name behind the scenes. We're going to change the icon just for fun here and for and for custom object description, client rating. Now, pretty much that's what you get right now for creating custom objects, okay? 
uh, we're going to put description here to keep this clean and create custom object. Bam. Now here are my list of custom objects. I will have my client rating object. And my goal with the client rating object is again, as a coaching, uh, as a coaching, as a coach, excuse me, I'm going to give my contacts slash clients very different ratings over time. So now how do I get some custom fields in here? Well, I could do it right here, but what this will do just so you know, is it takes you to the traditional custom field interface right here. So I'm going to go add a field. We're going to say, um, the date of the review. We'll put the date picker. Uh, we will call this date of client review. Object will be the client rating. So we'll say, we call this rating, so we'll just be consistent here. Rating, right here. So here's the big part, and I just put this out a little bit earlier in the video. There's no way here to create a field which is a key of another field. So what I would ideally like here, which I cannot do if you notice, we'll say client rating info, we'll create that. What I cannot do is create a custom field yet and pick another object inside of high level. So, you know, ideally, um, maybe it would be a drop down single and that would be your client name, right? So this would be client slash contact name. We'll make it so the name is friendly with other, um, with other objects inside of high level. Pick the client rating, the group is client rating info. Ideally here, I would be able to say, oh, this is a cross reference to another field, the client name over in the contact field kind of thing. Can't do it yet, I'm sure it's coming. Again, remember how many times I'm gonna say this, this is a very early beta, okay? I'm 100% sure it's coming. But either way, once, um, uh, once, you have all that created. Now when you're back at your main menu option here, you look now, you've got your custom objects in your menus right here. So we'll go back to my event tickets, or my events, that was the first one I created. And right now you only get list mode. And then when you click on one, you get this uh, slide in from the right to see the actual individual um, object names. This one has uh, event names, uh, event start date, event end date is what I have there. So I can now create this data, you know, we'll say event name, we'll say this is a virtual uh, high level meetup. Okay, we will save that. Once we have the event name, we will get our list of event names here. I can click on this and just change the name to, uh, we'll say this is going to be the 19th and it will end on the 26th. It will be a week long meetup, okay? Save that. Save appears to go pretty well. And this is now how I'm maintaining my list of custom objects. So I can float them between events, event tickets, client ratings, things like that. So we are just at the very beginnings of this now. We can create custom objects, we can give them custom fields, um, and we can obviously manage the records over here. Uh, it looks like all the custom field types are available for custom objects, um, but this is where we are so far, okay? Nothing, I haven't seen any other features so far. So, so far I know in my back end, I can create the custom objects here, and then over in custom fields, uh, the one difference here is when you're creating a custom field now, object, you have a drop down here of the other objects, okay? That's where we are as soon as I have any kind of other uh, update as far as functionality, specifically being able to join objects or being able to change, you know, the layout over here in, uh, in the menu option over here. I will get you an updated video, but this is where we are. Um, uh, it's not, a, by the way, just so you know, it's not a beta option as to where you can um, actually turn on a switch. You had to be part of a very special beta group, and I have no idea how I requested that, but I've just had it for months, and I've been chomping at the bit, and here we are. Let's get to work coming up with some great ideas on how to create this, how to use this functionality.